The tree diagram is the second tool we'll be using this section. It takes a wide-ranging, fluid brainstorming from the affinity diagram and organizes and expands it into a hard-nosed task list. The tree diagram looks something like a sideways organizational chart, with the top level, or goal, on the left, and then major projects in the second level and tasks in the third level. You will need the post-it notes from the affinity diagram. Organize the post-it notes in stacks, with the post-it note stating each goal at the top of each stack. Take the first stack of post-it notes and spread them around so all can see. The header card, or the note that captures the entire grouping, is put halfway down the left side of the workspace. You then ask the team a question. What major activities or projects need to happen to achieve that goal? Pick cards from the, from the ones laid in the workspace and set them to the right of the goal, almost like a list. Then ask, what else needs to happen? Share additional thoughts on the activities needed to get to the goal. Write down those on which the team agrees and put them in the list. At this point, the activities are not in any particular order. Connect the goal to the projects using a felt tip pen. Next, ask the tasks question of each activity. What tasks do we need to do to get this activity done? Sort the rest of the cards to fit it with each activity. Ask what else needs to happen. Add tasks until the team is comfortable that they know what each activity needs. Continue with the next goal and keep going until you've generated a project and task list for each goal. The tree diagram is a great way to create order out of chaos. This satisfies the deep need of those who need structure while still honoring the ideas generated by the creative folks.